Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you get the error message cannot create an Apple ID at this time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reset the network connection. Here's what you have to do. Launch the settings app on your iPhone, then go to the general menu. In here, scroll down and select the transfer or reset iPhone option. Now simply tap on reset and then select the reset network settings option. Next, you have to enter your device passcode and screen time passcode if prompted. And finally, hit the reset network settings to commence the process. This process will remove all saved networks, preferences and VPN configurations from your iPhone. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, you can simply restart your device. As simple as it may sound, this solution is super effective. So if you have an iPhone with Face ID, simultaneously press and hold the side button and volume up or down button. Or in the instance for iPhone with Touch ID, press and hold the side button and home button together. Now keep pressing the keys until a slider appears on the screen. From here on, just move the slider to the right to shut down your iPhone. Now once restarted, just try creating the Apple ID again. You should now be able to get through the process swiftly. Moving on, another useful solution is to update your device. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then access the general menu and afterwards tap on software update. Wait for a while as the system scans for any updates and if there's an update available, just tap update now. Lastly, just enter your device passcode and just follow the on-screen instructions. And after the update is installed on your device, the error should be gone. So make sure to check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to check the Apple system status. Sometimes this error results from system outages in the Apple's servers but you can check this on your own by following the steps that I'm going to show you. You can access the homepage of Apple system status via any preferred browser, then locate the Apple ID service. And if Apple ID is marked with a yellow or red mark, then you've got nothing to worry about. It is probably under maintenance and will be back up after the checkup. However, if it's marked green, then the service is healthy and working properly. In this case, Move on to the next fix. And the next fix is a last resort, so to speak, and that's resetting your device. What you have to do is open up the settings app on your iPhone, then go to the general menu, and afterwards scroll down and choose transfer or reset iPhone. Now just hit on reset, and then select reset all settings to proceed. Simply verify your identity via face ID or touch ID, then hit reset all settings again and follow the on-screen commands as requested. And that's it. After resetting your device, make sure to create a new Apple ID as you desire. That was super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.